Hi, in today's video I want to talk about identifying control sequence by deletion analysis. Um, in my previous uh, videos about gene expression I was talking about uh, gel retardation method, footprinting and modification interference assay, but all those methods only help us to uh, locate control sequences on the DNA, but doesn't help us to understand um, uh, function of those control sequences. And this is exactly what we can do with deletion analysis method. Uh, if we take this um, uh, fragment of DNA and this red part would be a gene and this is uh, upstream region and this is promoter sequence and um, here is uh, um, control sequences that could be enhancer or silencer um, we don't know yet so we have to perform an experiment by deleting uh, one of the unknown uh, regulatory sequence and um, uh, when we delete uh, one of those sequences, it means that a regulatory protein wouldn't be able to bind to this site and such um, regular uh, control sequence wouldn't perform its function. So uh, let's say that we delete it with restriction enzyme this part that uh, have a silencer and uh, we only left with enhancer. So we expect that there are going to be more gene expression because only enhancer left and uh, we don't have silencer anymore. And with other experiment we can um, this time uh, delete enhancer sequence and uh, only silencer sequence would be left. So this is going to be uh, least gene expression. And um, also there is other this, um, um, control sequence exists that is um, tissue specific control sequence and by deleting such regions uh, gene we expect that the gene would be expressed in not specific uh, tissues uh, so um, this is three type of uh, control sequences and um, in my next video I will uh, proceed uh, talking about uh, uh, identifying control sequences by deletion analysis and I will talk about a uh, reporter gene that is used uh, with this technique and this is all for today thank you for your attention and goodbye